This is the Kiner Dance Studio Success YouTube video series. I'm Ashani Mfuko, CEO and President of Kiner Enterprises, Inc., and the founder of KinerDanceStudioSuccess.com, the first online social media success resource center for dance studios. Today I want to talk about fighting your fears in social media for dance studios. That may sound a little bit intense, but it's a very important topic um, for us to discuss. So, as you know, as a dance studio owner, there's always been this kind of unspoken secret secrecy amongst dance studio owners and trying to keep your information private and inaccessible to your competitors. So, you may see social media as a bad thing because it's a way for other studios in your area to see what you're doing and to find out certain information about your studio and then possibly copy it um, and, and try to steal your students. Okay, so that's a legitimate fear only because it has happened. Students have left one studio to go to the studio down the road before um, and teachers, you know, have done the same thing. But what I want to tell you today is that you can't let fear control you, period. Um, don't be afraid because if you are, you're going to really miss out on a lot of wonderful benefits that social media can bring to your studio. So focus your energy on just doing the best that you can as you're running your studio, hiring and retaining great teachers, and creating a fun and warm and structured learning environment for your dance students. And if you're doing that, then the competitors really won't matter because you'll be keeping your students happy, keeping the teachers happy there, and creating an environment that attracts people, okay? That positive energy is attracting to people. So the second thing you need to keep in mind is that social media can really showcase what your studio has to offer and show what is so unique about your studio so that people aren't interested in the other studio okay because there's only one you you as the dance studio owner bring your energy bring your um, focus bring your training bring your personality to your dance studio and the studio down the street or across the street or whatever they don't have that because they're not you so the, the point is use social media to its best advantage to focus on what's so great about your studio the great dance teachers that you have how wonderful your students um, are doing in in competitions or in school or in performances that you have the charitable work that you do through your studio use social media to highlight all of those wonderful things about your studio so that People go to your pages, your Facebook or Twitter or YouTube and they see that and they're just they're just blown away. You know, so you don't have to be afraid of your competitor down the road seeing what you're doing because they're not you and they don't have what your studio has. So really use social media to your best advantage. Don't let fear control you. Don't be afraid of your competitors because you have a lot to offer and social media gives you that opportunity to really showcase it to the world. Take care.